Hey there, it's everyone. D stand back with you. We are into week six of the CDHWL, the Canadian Dream Hot Wheels League. And week six means it's about to get dirty. That's right. Traps or items, however you wish to call it, they are active. And the way I mentioned before, there is going to be a slight difference in scoring now. Still going to have the shorthanded and power play scoring. But 0.5 to each team for cars that get physically blocked by the trap slash item. So without any further ado, let's get into matchup number one. We have the 1 and 4 Senators versus the 0 and 5 Nordiques. And the Sens have the power play. So we know who the Nordiques will be sitting out, and that is the Porsche. After every four weeks, a team can change up one car on their team. And we know that the Nordiques, next time they get a chance to change up a player, that Porsche is coming out. So here we go. The Sens on the power play. Race number one, period one. Here we go. Who is going to take it? It is going to be... Roadster bite and Batmobile, although the trap was set, it's not physically touching the trap. That is not going to be a point or a half point. So it's going to be the power play point for the Senators only. And they are up one nothing. All right, so here we go. They're going to set out the Cyber Speeder this time around. That's the Sens. Nordiques go on the power play now. It is one nothing for the Sens. Here we go. And oh, shorthanded marker plus. Oh, oh. That, so that's a shorthanded marker for the Sens. Plus, I'm going to count that as being trapped, the Porsche there. So there's 2.5, two, two half points. So it is a total of three points for the Sens. Nordiques don't score anything there. It is four nothing Senators. Basically guaranteeing them another win. All right, so we are looking at 4 nothing right now. 4 nothing for the Senators. And to the final race we go. Roadster Bite once again doing all the scoring plus two trapped vehicles. Here we go, the final race. How's it going to work out this time? Oh, look at that. The Lamborghini, the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Scores a shorthanded marker and half a point also for the Roadster Bite. The only way to stop him from winning the race. And this is where the scores get interesting. Four to two and a half. Oh, the dirty races are making the scoring quite interesting in here. So we are into matchup number two. A storied rivalry between the Habs and the Leafs. Both teams are three and two and the Habs have the power play. So Leafs, who is sitting out? The Shark Cruiser. Okay. All right. We are set up. Race number one. Leafs and Habs have on the power play. Here we go. Oh. The car de Sada gets the power play goal. And two blocked cars. Both of the Leafs cars were blocked from scoring. So that is a 2-0 lead for the Habs. So it's 2-0 for the Habs going into the second race. That was a power play goal with two blocked cars. Second period. Leafs on the power play. How's it going to work out here? Oh! Wow! 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 Well... The, Chev, the 57 Chev wiped out. Big Air Bel Air wiped out. I'm going to give a half point to the Habs for Shark Cruiser. Even though he started in lane, lane one, he's in lane, lane three. He is touching the trap. And, of course, the shorthanded goal scored by the Renault Sports RS01. So that is a shorthanded goal. Plus a half point. So two and a half points for the second period for the Habs. That gives them a four and a half to nothing lead. Guaranteeing them the win. All right. 
Third period. Habs are up four and a half to nothing. And they have the power play again. So here we go. Leafs can only hope for either a win or at least blocking someone. Here we go. What's going to happen this race time around? And oh, lane five. That was Renault getting the power play goal and no blocks because the one vehicle that was going to be blocked jumped its lanes. <sighs> Leafs can't catch a break. The Leafs end up on losing this matchup. Five and a half to nothing. All right. 30 races are going to be a little bit longer, so I am splitting up week six into two videos. So we're going to end video number one with the Leafs, after being shut out five and a half to nothing, have decided it is time to rid themselves of the Shark Cruiser. So, you gotta grab one, grab one of the dice up here. Now, this is the risk they take. They lose the Shark Cruiser, but they could end up, end up with the Snow Speeder. Or a Snow Stormer, I should say. So, one, two, three, four, and five, six. The roll of the dice, and it's a six. So the Leafs trade up the Shark Cruiser and get themselves a Skull Crusher, which you'll be seeing in week seven. So in the meantime, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, tell all your friends. Come on back and see some of my other videos, and we will see you in the second half of week six of the CDHWL. Thank you for watching.